Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and we mentioned something about Kikuyu grass and uh, gray leaf spot. Uh, we see gray leaf spot on ryegrass out here also, uh, but we se seem to see more damage on Kikuyu grass. And this sort of just give you a, a rough look at what a sample of Kikuyu grass uh, looks like after gray leaf spot has beaten it up quite a bit. So we, we mentioned that, you know, last uh, last time there were some problems with Kikuyu grass, and it seems to be worse uh, when you have dry conditions and we, we showed you the data where that that occurs. Well, uh, this weekend we're doing a little bit of yard improvement, uh, landscape improvement, and we're at a um, one of the big box stores looking at their nursery area and we saw this uh, this picture. I'm going to show you right now what we saw. You can see the uh, large um, lesions on these plants and this is St. Augustine and these flats uh, were, were for sale. So um, I thought I'd just take some back and we um, put it into a uh, just a moist chamber. In this case, I just used a petri plate uh, that we put the uh, leaves in so that we can just sort of take a look at them. We'll, we'll scan them under the uh, dissecting in the compound scope just to show you again what a uh, gray leaf spot looks like. But uh, if you sometimes wonder uh, what's happening uh, or why we get these diseases pop up all around, uh, <laughs> this is probably one of the reasons we're seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of diseases, a lot of insects being moved around on sod from uh, from a lot of different suppliers. So don't be surprised if you see new diseases in your area that you wouldn't expect uh, to be there. Let's uh, let's take a look at these and see what's up. This is an image of the lesion after 24 hours incubation in the moist chamber, and you can see this sort of a dusty appearance of the area where the uh, the fungus is colonizing the tissue. If we look at that more closely under a compound scope but using light from the top you can see the very small spores here but how many spores are produced in this uh, in this area as we move from the center of that lesion uh, toward the edge. It's a tremendous number of spores that these uh, uh, diseases can produce. And then here's what they look like under a compound microscope with the spores scraped off and put onto a slide in water with a cover slip on top. They're about 22 microns long and it gives you just a rough idea what's going on. We hope you enjoyed this video of gray leaf spot on St. Augustine grass from a big box store in Southern California.